Good. Good, good. I've been in this situation a few times this year, but late in the game when the offense gets the ball close game, you have to finish like that. Just how satisfying for that for an offense is that? Extremely satisfying, especially when you look at the things that we had to overcome. I mean, there were some holding penalties, some things that, you know, we knew going into that, that crew kind of called it close to the vest, but um, you kind of think you have it there, you know, for one second, then the next thing you know, there's a penalty, moves you back. Uh, great poise, you know, great, great just ability of our guys to truly take it one play at a time. So that was, that was a uh, cool moment for us to do that. Yeah. Not, not having Josh, what does that mean for, for the other guys in the receiver board? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, number one, you know, Worry about Josh, loving on Josh, enjoyed my time with Josh. What a great, uh, great guy. I really enjoyed having him around. Um, we got great depth at that spot. You know, we got guys like Malik that step up every week, Demo. Um, you know, Ursa was up this past week. So um, luckily for us, we're fortunate that we have some depth. And uh, again, hard guy to replace, but we have guys that are very capable. How do you evaluate David's season with the numbers not being what they were last year? Um, you know, I think when, when you watch Demo play, I mean, I don't see a drop off in his play, less opportunities maybe. Um, again, why is that? Man, different reasons, personnel, opportunities where he's in maybe and the ball doesn't come to him, but still an extremely talented young player that um, is a matchup problem for a lot of people. How, how good was it to see Tyler kind of back to his old ways? It was weird because we kind of felt it during the week. Like we just kind of felt it. Sometimes when you're out here watching practice, you get a, a sense of, Man, the ball's going to him a lot, or boy, he's moving, moving like himself. Like he's got a, a particular speed that you're used to seeing, and we hadn't really seen that for a while. Uh, so I, I wasn't really surprised. It was great to see it. I think he was, um, uh, he felt good. Uh, the catch he made, uh, the big one down our boundary early in the game on uh, 26 was an unbelievable catch. I still don't know how he finishes some of those plays, but um, uh, we, we kind of anticipated it might be a, a good day for him. What did you think of uh, the backup tailback CJ and Travis and sort of get Travis in there a little bit? How you see that? Kind of yeah, it was it was really good. Um, Chris played terrific. So again, you know, you kind of go with the hot hand, and uh, CJ did some really nice things for us. Um, some really nice things in protection uh, that he did for us in two minute, a couple blitz pickups that were really good. And then I know Travis was excited to get his hands on a couple balls down there in the red zone. They're both good young players, um, and uh, uh, again, I thought they both played well. For that two-minute roll, what traits do you typically look for in a, for a running back who's going to fill that two-minute roll? Yeah, number one is uh, the intelligence to do all the blitzes and stuff. Um, obviously, match a problem in the passing game because there's some check down opportunities if you're getting a lot of zone defense. And it's just something he's always been very natural with. Uh, you know, receiving ability, the ability to catch the football. Uh, it just really fits him well. Uh, we have a lot of confidence in him, and um, he's just uh, he's always done that at a high level. So those are a couple of things we look for. That you want to run the ball and establish the run, but also knowing what Arizona's numbers are in, in past defense. How do you use that in evaluating what opportunities you'll have on Sunday? Because you don't want to get away from your strength. Yeah, um, you know, each week we look at the numbers, but the numbers are what they are. I mean, it depends on who they're playing and, and whatnot. Uh, we have a plan to come out and try to see how they play. For some reason, people play us different. Like last week, Carolina played us completely different on third down. Uh, we weren't expecting some of the uh, zones looks that they, they threw at us. So um, we have a game plan. Uh, we, you guys get tired of hearing me say it, but the word balance, I mean, we want to be balanced. Um, everything feeds off the running game. So, um, but the numbers are what they are, but I think this is a really good defense. I really do. They play really, really hard for Vance. Um, yeah, Chandler Jones is having a massive year. Um, you know, first time we played, Patrick didn't play. I think he's, you know, he's, he's playing really well right now. So, uh, in no way, shape, or form do we really believe the numbers. We think there's a really good defense coming in here, and um, there'll be challenges. You just mentioned Chandler Jones. Is he a guy that they could be 0 and 16, and just him alone is a guy who could just do it and try to do offensively just on that, on that level? Yeah, he, he really is. He's just a dominant pass rusher. He's so um, just athletic and long, and the ability to kind of use his hands to get off blocks. Uh, playing terrific, playing with a lot of confidence. They move him around some. You know, he's playing some different roles now that Suggs is gone. Um, so I think he's getting comfortable with that role, but yeah, he is a he's a guy that we need to be aware of where he is at all times because he can he can he can ruin some things. Yeah, um, you know when you watch the game, Chris played pretty well. Um, talking about Arizona, right? First game or Chandler? Chandler, sorry, Chandler. Um, you know, again, just one of those games. I can't remember most of the pass. You know, um, Suggs got us on one play. I remember that sack. Uh, 
again, we're aware of where he is. We're going to send people at him um, and uh, try to neutralize him. But uh, he gets excited for third down, and uh, he, he moves all over the spots, and uh, he'll be, uh, we'll be looking for him. Curious how you see more from Homer or what more he might be able to do for you. Curious? No, uh, not beyond curious. I, again, we see it out here you know, every, every week. Um, it certainly wasn't too big for him. He was very comfortable in those roles. Um, would we like to get him a few more touches, a few more plays? Sure. Uh, but again, in a game like that one, Chris was just feeling so good. Uh, but I think he's a really good young player. And uh, sometimes you find out things just by not necessarily them playing a lot, by them just playing. And I think with the way he went out and played, he did a really good job for us. I think synced up so well for you guys those opening three drives to, to be able to move it as consistently as you did. The execution was really just pretty clean. Um, you know, the big play to Tyler helped. Uh, running game was hitting. Third down conversions, we always kind of talk about third downs. We kind of know how we're going. Actually, in that those first two drives, I think we only had one third down. So we were able to avoid third down, which that's the best way to convert third downs. Um, but it, the execution was really pretty pretty clean. You know, some big plays, the big run Chris had for the touchdown on the first drive. Um, that's what it comes down to. I mean, the plays that we call are just plays. It comes down to our guys going out and executing. And, uh, they did that. Thought Russ played really well early. That certainly helps. He got off to a fast start. And the big play to CJ on a little uh, wide route was big. So there was some confidence there that got going after that first drive. You kind of feed off that. The f opening drive gives you confidence going into the second drive and beyond. At the time of the touchdown, it looked like Carolina busted something, screwed something up there. Was, was that an adjustment Tyler made on the fly to kind of find space there, or how did he kind of work his way? No, they, it looked to me like they screwed up the coverage. We motioned over from a, a three-receiver set to the right, brought from the left and brought him over to the right, and it looked like they were trying to get the corner to run over, and he just didn't get there. Um, so um, it, it looked like it was a coverage bust on their part. Anything else? Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, guys.